Hey there team and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Melmere or Melmire. I am, you know, ladies choice, however you'd like to pronounce it. So this is an upcoming game. Uh, Steam has it listed for the 22nd of December. So I'm recording this probably a week out. Thanks to the devs for setting me up with this. Now, it's got a very cutesy uh, uh, aesthetic, but here's the blurb on Steam. Melmere is a story-based game about building and automation. Oh, you got me interested. You will have to control where the resources are diverted to and ensure that there are enough workers to fulfill your mission. Don't be fooled by the simple and stylized look of Melmer. The game is getting very complex very fast. Ooh, there's a lot of sexy words in there strung together in a way that I like, so we're going to have a look. So what's going on here? This is the campaign. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> the Promised Land. The king sends you to the yet unexplored lands of Melmere. Nobody knows why it has remained unexplored for decades. There is hope to bring new riches to the kingdom with the wealth of natural resources of Melmere. Uh, since you are inexperienced in matters of colonization, the king's advisor was put at your side. You arrive in the east of the country where a dense forest makes it difficult for you to progress. Okay, pretty basic setup. Let's bloody rock and roll. I'm very excited. Welcome to Melmere, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Thanks so much for your time. Yep, okay, cool, thanks. This is the help wiki. Control the camera with Wazda. Okay. Sir Harold Goodhint. It's a good name. Oh, it's a good mustache. Hello. Do you get me loud and clear? I do, sir. It's me, Harold. We're reaching out from the kingdom. The king and the court magicians are here too. My lord, if you take this in... Uh, if you talk into this thing, the emissary can hear and see you too. Okay, very good. King Reinhardt Roughbeard. Jesus. What number is that? Is M uh, a thousand? C is a hundred. Is M at 100? 250, 60, two, uh, 262, is that what it is? Oh my god, let me know. Here? Yes, finally, right in Melmere. It was a long and rocky way, but you did it. Okay, but wait, why is there forest everywhere? Isn't obvious, the fool went straight east into the thick forest. All right, you, you prick. Yes, that wasn't very smart. Hey, I wouldn't say it like that. This was the only way into the inner land is through the forest. Yeah, there you go. Look, where the, where the eyes on the ground? What would you idiots know back home? Oh, yes, I can see that on the map. There is no other way. Nevertheless, we'll lose time getting through this forest. This, what's his name? Votto Greengut? He can piss right off. Get him off the phone. Get him off the Skype call. We should build a town here. Is a good spot to connect our two lands. Okay, that does sound pretty bloody good. Uh, this seems like a good idea. After all, we can't progress right now. Let's call it Reinhardt Town. What a splendid idea. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, the magician shouldn't call you names. Come on, let's go. It's rude to call my emissary. Th okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay, we need to get to work. Okay, so there was no substance to that dialogue. Just some average writing. Sorry. Sorry, Dev. If you... <laughs> I don't have a lot of time for, for average writing. Uh, now, what's going on here? Start exploring... By clicking and buying tiles. Okay, explore new land. So we just click them. Oh, okay. All right, and you want me to click eight of them. How about I just draw a little bloody circle like that? Uh-huh. Place buildings via the build menu after selecting a tile. So select a tile and get a build menu. I like, I like having videos built into the game. Do this, developers. It's, you know, it's hard to stuff the up. If you're running a course in a corporate setting, this is the best way to do it as well. Why wouldn't you do it in a video game? Consider all of us dumb and then teach us at that level. Congratulations, you've unlocked the woodcutter's hut. Thank you. Thank you. You can produce wood by clicking repeatedly on a forest. Oh, this, is, this is a clicker. But a woodcutter's hut does it automatically. Oh, I didn't realize this had clicker in it. That excites me immensely. Uh, improve forests by upgrading them with a woodcutter hut. Okay, currently no building can be built here. What are you talking about? Woodcutter's hut. Wait, what is, what is going on? Oh, it wants me to build this. No, you lock me out with this nonsense. This will slow us down anymore. In any case, it's an advantage. Enough wood to build a town. 
but we can't just build in between the trees. No worries, chopping down some of the trees should offer enough room. Whatever. Okay. Did you not tell me that I click on the tile? Building under construction? I don't believe I placed that building there though. What are you, what are you doing, guy? Okay. Build a woodcutter's hut. One out of three. Okay. Okay. So if I click on that, that's what I want to be doing. Can I put one in this like bloody, it looks like a swamp or something. Off you go. All right, here we go. Control roads by clicking on the white dots or dragging over the roads. Clicking on the white dots or dragging over. Oh, okay. Congratulations, you unlocked a new building, road. Some buildings have an upkeep cost visible at the top of the building window. Okay. Uh, earn some coins to compensate for that by connecting your woodcutter's huts to your town centre with roads. Right, so you tell me I need to build a road here. Logistics? Road. Right, so if I put a road there. Is the road there yet? Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Here we bloody go. All right. Oh, I like that very much. Give me more dollars. Yes. Workers are needed for buildings. Okay. Small houses can have up to four workers. Every tick, they'll make one more worker available as long as you have food. Without the food, workers die. I love that it's in these ticks. It's real time, but with ticks. This is actually great. A great way to implement some turn-based stuff into a real-time setting. Transport raw food, like vegetables from a farm, to a food market. Vegetables will be processed to food, which is then available to house uh, tall houses in a radius around the food market. Okay. Oh, geez, here we go. So we've got all sorts of stuff. Um, I guess we could put, let's put um a food market there. What is this? Okay. I'm not impressed as Harold, you would. Don't listen, we're improving steadily. It's obvious that you can't make the right decisions without, oh my God. Okay. Let's go, let's click. I accidentally bought something in my clickery. All right, so we're gonna put, let's put a farm there. Wait, what are you doing, game? You're making me put a farm there? I don't want to do that. Oh, I limited, oh, okay, the workers are limiting me right now. Small house. What the fuck? Oh, okay, yeah, I was clicked on that. I gotta remember, it's back to front, right? You gotta click the tile, and then you gotta click the build order, which is unusual, to say the least. Building under construction, let's go. Are we paused or something? Build the buildings, game. Zero workers. Hmm. Well, I need a house to make workers. Maybe if, uh, can I like delete this? Base value. Trash. No, that's clear stockpile. Back to town center. What are you doing to me, game? I need to free up some workers. How do I, like, turn off a building or something? Stop production? Still got a worker in there. Hang on. Game, have you allowed me to brick myself? Wait, I can get food. I can manually get food to get workers or something, right? No, that won't do anything. Well, fuck. Build a house. Under construction. What's this? Complete the missions. How do I not have a demolish button? This is infuriating. Build road, upgrade, 
Cell building or uh, sorry, cell. <laughs> Fuck me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, let's sell this as well. I now have two workers. Build the house. Building under construction. So why aren't you building game? Is it a road issue? Now you've built. I need I need an obvious timer next time, game. So I'm just gonna have a quick sip. All right, we've got some extra workers. Okay, let's get a food market going. No, don't. Oh my god. Whatever. That'll do. See, it's got a progress bar. That's not moving. One one worker. I don't know where the worker went. Is he gone to work? Building costs. Do I press on any of this? Can I speed the game up faster? I can't. All right, this is terrible user feedback. I'm assuming this building's being built, but it's not showing me anything. House needs food. Yeah, I don't doubt it. Requires wood. We should have, like, bulk wood, right? Where is the wood stockpile? Look, there we go. We've got 30 wood or something. Yeah, that's just filling up my stockpile there. What the fuck, game? Sell building or resource. Stuff this, I'm selling that. Build a farm. Now build it. What are you doing to me, game? You haven't explained something. I is this a road-related problem? Hang on, look at this, the wood hops. Interesting. Maybe it is a something like that. Okay, hang on. Right. The wood's hopping along the road. I understand now. Ah. Oh. Okay. Okay, so roads are a lot more in important than... Well, the game has not stressed that very well. I understand it now, I think. So, that should actually probably get the resources straight from its neighbour, right? Or maybe not. Okay. Okay. Let's build a food market. Oh, that was interesting. Production error. Yeah, I reckon. They're getting more expensive. Right, send me the carrots. Yeah, that wood was confused. Right, now we're getting more workers. Okay, cross. Here we go. Build a small house. All right. We could probably build a small house there. If I hit the wood, does it just jump to the next door neighbor? It does. All right, I build stockpile on the wood here. Ah, that's kind of interesting. Right, now, this has like an adjacency bonus for food or something, right? Makes food available to houses in a radius of two. Okay, but you can see the diagonal, so it's only a diagonal of one. Right. I see.
Oh, that built immediately. Oh, probably because of the wood that was already built up on it. And then you want another... I mean, shit, we could put a worker there. I think that's still within the bounds. All right. Stockpile, production. 10 carrots equals 50 food. A dwarven meal, eh? What's this mean? What was that cog? Oh, not enough carrots, probably. We can't build any more food markets. All right, so I just need to get more workers. Is that what's going on? Mass workers, 24 out of 25. All right. Stories say there is some long forgotten ruins in the area. Explore the land until you find such ruin. Okay. Is that it? What is this? Excavate the ruins. That no one is living in these lands. I said currently no one is living there. Uh, let's excavate these ruins. All right, let's go. Why should they be of relevance to us? It's very relevant. If there's any danger... Oh, okay. This this whole bit, not that interested. Happy, happy just to tutorialize me through this. Excavate the ruins. I'm clicking on them. Like, are you telling me that you... Oh, no, I just pressed this, maybe? Building costs. 150 wood. I'd be good to move the wood faster. How about we just get some other adjacent blokes going as well? Hey, 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 can we go diagonal? Oh, it's not actually one wood that it's moving. It's moving the whole stack. Oh, that's cool. That's very handy. I'll just click this out. Let's go. It's like plain satisfactory. You can see down the bottom right, the, the bits that I click up are getting shifted. All right, excavated, done. You did it, I'm proud of you, thanks. Uh, look at the text written on the wall. The language is different. It's probably Dwarven. All right. Language of the Dwarves. All right, now this game really has everything. Instructions on how to first find, mine, and process tin and copper. That's pretty good, isn't it? Uh, I don't like this, this negative Nancy. Congratulations, you finished the first mission. All right, yeah, okay, cool. First success. Moving on to the northwest, you leave the forest behind and discover extensive plains ahead. Together with Harold, you decide to look for some un uh, valuable metals. Okay, well, good. We're gonna we're gonna learn about metals now. Yes. All right, there we go. Seems like a good spot. It certainly does. He's saying there's a lot of tin and copper ahead. Yes, 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 yes. I'm very excited. I like how excited the king is. This guy needs to get sacked. First, we should focus on the workers. We need enough houses so that everyone has a place to live. It's a good idea. All right. Let's build a uh, small house right there. Beauty. All right. It's going to need food. Um... So we'll plonk a bloody food market right there. And I mean, can I just put a bloody woodcutters right next to it and let that deal with the, the situation? There you go. Nice. Um, right, and then I'm going to want to build a, uh, a farm. Was there a fertility component to farms? Heathland. Fertile soil. All right, well, that'll probably do the job. I'll go with that. Farm. 
Shit, let's just build a road to make life a little bit easier here. Alright, so that's going to feed into that. So that's good. Workers are going to increase. Oh, now you're now you causing trouble for me. I can't get the wood out there. Okay, I guess. Does this store the wood at all? Stockpile. Alright, so what if I were to put a road there? Will it be smart enough to send it down? Wait, I can't put ro Oh yeah, I can put roads there. Will it send wood along to him? No, maybe not. Okay. What happens when it gets to here? Gets confused. Alright. How many, uh... Woodcutters. Can I just build infinite woodcutters? Is that what's going on here? Fuck yeah, okay. I thought I was limited. Okay, infinite woodcutters sort of changes the, the game a bit. Small house. Let's sell that. So I think it just converts that straight into money, right? Hmm. I think we need more food. Food market? No, no, no. Oh, we don't need that. Sell that. We need fertile soil, don't we? So you can build houses on these little spots. Probably the go. Oh, that's fertile, so we could build farm there. doesn't know where it's going. Oh, 
but we're sending food into there. Need more workers. Get rid of that. Build another small house. Oh, that's troubling. How are we going to manage this? Oh, we're getting the hang of it now. It's like it's all shit land out here. Oh, I thought that was woods. No, let's uh, build a woodcutter. This is uh, really quite growing on me, actually. And if it's not clear, I'm, see how this radius works. It's a big plus sign and the diagonal. So I'm trying to get houses into those slots. Because the game wants me to get to 50 workers by the look of it. Hmm. Which is interesting because we obviously want to get food to the farm as well without crunching the radius. There's not a lot we can do about that. I think that's the best we can do with that radius. Hmm. How do we min-max this a bit? One, two. If I were to put one there, I'd get one, two, and the diagonals. Yeah, I would, wouldn't I? So we're gonna put the food market there. Um oh here we go. This is actually quite growing on me. I need to Watch the coin. I mean, not that we're really running out, I don't think. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Perfect overlap. We could probably squeeze, you know, if I moved it back one, we could squeeze the food markets and all that in a bit better. Which is something we're going to have to... Actually, you know what? This is fertile ground, isn't it? So we'll put a food... Oh, hang on, you have too many of this building. Well, what do you want me to do about that? Hopefully that'll be enough food to supply. Alright. We good? Just a couple more ticks. Oh, all right, we figured it out. Local resources have to be transported by road. Yeah, we yes. A building will wait until all its transports are finished before sending out a new transports. Right. That's very much worth tracking. Clay pit and a brickworks. Oh, it's Anno. All right, build the clay pit. 
Good job, everyone. Can you work any slower? Yeah. Can't start mining. Got to be producing bricks. Okay. Brick works. I feel like I saw what looked like clay pit sort of areas. Oh, hang on. What is this? Clay soil. That's actually what we want. So we'll build a clay pit there. Build the bloody woodcutters there. Right, maybe we'll, maybe we'll put a brickworks. Depends if we find another clay pit where it's going to be. There we go. Probably afford to put a brickworks in the middle, right? Uh, building information, build costs, tab selection. Yeah, we figured this out. The fact that there's upgrades is interesting. I've unlocked a new town center building. Upgrade your town center to sell. Oh, hang on. We can upgrade it. Wonderful. Get, get making ingots. Okay. So that's your town center there, and we'd want to upgrade it. And that's going to need some juice to upgrade it. And then off we go. All right, well, can I not get to the menu again? That'll do. All right, beauty. Melmir. Melmir. Melmire. I like this. I really like it. It's making me think a bit. It was... It was... I don't think it was very well introduced because it's using such an obtuse mechanic. It's unusual. The ticks and the reliance on the roads to feed the resources. This is unusual. Normally you just build from some ephemeral resource that's off the screen. Or like I would have thought it should have stressed the road mechanic earlier. Um, we kind of accidentally fluked into it. I, I just feel that it didn't really stress it well enough. But... You know, I'll almost meet it halfway because it's doing something really new and really obtuse and unintuitive. Um, I, it's probably, you know, it's all good and well for me to go, you didn't explain it well enough. Well, I mean, it's probably very difficult to explain in the first place because it's so different from what all of the habits that we have. So I'll give it a bit of benefit of the doubt. But um, I'm enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it a lot. We need to start feeding things into our town centre because I'm going to... Uh, start running out of money. But yeah, you could make actually very complicated road networks that merge back in. It's like a reverse tree branch back into the town centre. That should be really cool as well. Yeah, I'm looking forward to playing more of this. Let me know what you reckon, guys, and if you want to see more. Otherwise, we might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.